We all began this lockdown with such great and noble aims. Positivity would stir us into action. We would tackle all those DIY jobs very overdue. Then stand back and stare with manly satisfaction. We'd review our eating habits, Otolenghi would be king. Meditation and Pilates help to flex. And we would respect our bodies like the temples that they are. Put some time aside perfecting tantric sex. Then we'd set ourselves a goal each day, cause routine is the key. And we'd walk 10,000 steps, it would be bliss. But then slowly our resolve has waned, our diet's gone to pot. And I won't ask if my bum looks big in this. Are you still in your pyjamas when it's halfway through the day? To eat dry shredders out the box seems quite delectable. And when you put the bins out, do the kids all run away? Because society finds your look not quite acceptable. As lockdown days stretch further on into infinity, we're perfecting poses like synchronized loafers. With no end in sight, it's really not a pleasant thing to see, as our bodies slowly morph into our sofas. Is it Monday, Thursday, day or night? It's really hard to tell, as our fringes grow down like a curtain call. And our faces have more whiskers, that's the men and women both. We'll get super suit, we'll look Neanderthal. As you sit just contemplating the potatoes that can grow in the dust that's gathering under the telly. And you're sure there's something quite amiss with your washing machine, because your t-shirts will not stretch over your belly. But the government advice is really clear upon this point To sit and wait it out has become a civic duty No need for guilt if you're still sitting in your dressing gown You should not be out about shaking your booty Are you still in your pyjamas when it's halfway through the day To eat dry shredders out the box seems quite delectable and when you put the bins out, do the kids all run away? Because society finds your look not quite acceptable. As lockdown days stretch further on into infinity, we're perfecting poses like synchronized loafers. With no end inside, it really is not a pleasant thing to see, as our bodies slowly morph into our sofas. Who knows if our society will go back to before? Will we learn some brand new ways to live together? Will this Lady Macbeth hand washing become a permanent thing? And will we be wearing those face masks forever? Will social distance shorten so that if you are myopic, you'll be able to distinguish friend from foe? And when we walk down pavements, will it be a normal thing to walk straight instead of weaving to and fro? We haven't got the answers yet, no one has got a clue. So stay at home, drink wine, we'll beat this bug. When it's over, hope we've learned the value of community. And we should give the NHS the biggest hug.